Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we went and snatched an eagle's nest. Not an eagle's nest, we went and grabbed an eagle's egg. And now we're going to start Operation Canada Games. We also collected the bottles and got the safe in this area last time. Okay, guys. Let's, let's get going. Let's down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Okay, well, let's sneak on down there. Hey there, John. How's it going? Uh, I'd like to play in your lumberjack games. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. Well, let's go, power chopping. Whoa, okay. Gotta chop on the log. I see. Let's get going then, I mean... The power chopping. Do some power chopping. Chop like power. I forgot to turn the music on again! Dang it! Next chance I get, I'll turn it on, I swear. Oops. As I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Let me do it. Let me put on the music, please. Come on, it's really cool music. Uh. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on the It's too peaceful. I need music. <laughs> should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. Here we go. I'm turning on the music right now. We're going. Music, music, music. Where do I put the music on? Right here. Go straight to it. Go straight to... No, not there. We gotta go to options. And go to music volume. And crank it all the way up. I am so sorry. It's so good that I got it now, though. Because the music here is really nice. Let's go. Ah. That's nice. Now we got the music going on. <gasps> I'm getting chased by an eagle. Oh, gosh. John's really slow. I was faster than him. My gosh, he thinks he's the king of the log. Oh, I love this music. Da -da. It's awesome. Whoa, okay, I didn't know I had to do that. Let's go. This is like the best competition music, music ever. I love the Canada Games music. Oh, it's an omelet now. <laughs> Or, it's a little over easy. Aw, oh, man. See, that mother just failed at being a mother. It killed its own child in the process of saving it. Oh, you dirtbag. This is gonna pose a problem. Stop it. You stop it. You leave me alone. Can I jump? No, I can't. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. This is dangerous. Oh, that's really really dangerous. <laughs> I'm really scared. Oh, that's so close. Where's the mom? Okay, I... We're, okay. Please don't attack me on here. That would be bad. Oh, the music's so awesome. I can't get over it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing me say that, but it's really good. Now, I just need the, uh, the ice over here, please. Kindly, would you kindly come over here? This isn't Bioshock, though. It, it doesn't work like that. Ooh, we better move it. Get on there, Bentley. Put that egg in his pants. Hope you like birds. Fool. Ha. Loser. Triple O. What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? Cheater! He cheats like he just cheats through so intimidation. He's low. Knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. 
Okay, that's embarrassing. We cheat with style. We cheat with the brains, the power. We thought out our cheats. He just cheats through intimidation. Wow, he thinks he's really good at this. He's poor. He's a poor cheater. He has he's a low he's the lowest of the low. He's not even a good cheater. He just cheats through intimidation and lies. Well, cheating is lies practically, but um <laughs> He, he cheats through intimidation, which I find to be a low form of cheating. That's Oops. About what I expected from a raccoon. Oh, shut up. I got two nines and a seven. It was pretty good. I forgot that we had to speed climb. I didn't see the other uh, wall timer. I didn't see the timer there. Let's get moving. Oh. Instead of uh, Phelan. Phelan's not what we want. <laughs> okay, but the vertical wall of ice thing. Pretty challenging. That's a good challenge, John. But I don't see lumberjacks. I see mountain climbers doing this every day. Why is it not working? That's really, really bad right there. Why am I not? Why am I not grabbing on? Why am I not grabbing on? I don't understand why he won't grab on. Because I am like hitting it. I mean, I feel like I'm getting close enough, but apparently I'm not. That's that's weird. That this part's a little glitchy. I mean, I. This is one of the parts of the game that I feel that the uh, the climbing mechanics are pretty bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Freaking ding-dangs. There we go. See, this is really, really crap right here. This is bad climbing mechanics. Done ranting. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry I ranted. I really am sorry, but wow, that was <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> that was like s s really secretive right there. But um, yeah, I'm sorry for I'm really sorry for ranting, guys. I mean, I just really don't like this wall climbing segment. Segment. I feel like it wasn't made the best. It just is really hard to do. What? Are you kidding me? There we go. But I just feel like it is really extremely difficult. And I know it's supposed to be challenging. Oh geez, that's not even anywhere close. No applause for that masterful but I, I just really don't like the climbing section. It's so... It's just so weird to do. The, like, it's so glitched out not glitched out, but it's just the controls are kind of hard to do with that climbing section. And just like as you saw when I flung myself that one time, I bounced off the wall. Which was pretty crazy. But now I'm done complaining, you know, because overall, the Canada games are one of my, f this is one of my favorite missions in the entire area. Not area. Are you kidding me? John Bassan, you cheater. Even though that was completely fair. <laughs> okay, this one, out of all of the um, the final missions so far, this one's really hard. Okay, I'll admit, this one's a challenge. This is difficult. This is difficult right here. And not just because I'm really... Okay, I'm really poor with the grappling hook. You guys know that already, but... Okay, that clearly grappled onto him. I don't know what to say about that one. Get him right now. Oh, oh I cussed again. I hate it when I cuss. No, no, no. <laughs> it's really hard. Da da bum ba da bum bum. Oh my gosh. This is really hard. <laughs> Latch on, please. I don't care. Win. Now. Sly Cooper. Duh. Win! Yes! Yes, you're down! On the ground, John! Yeah! You suck! 
words again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? Wait, those are digital cards. And they're just pieces of paper or cardboard. Those are some really extreme pieces of paper or cardboard. for the last, the spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Okay. That's not too bad, actually. That's that's pretty fun. Oh, no. That's dangerous, though. How can I tell when it's going to bob down? Jeez, you can't tell at all. In them icy Canadian waters. How can you tell? How can you tell when they're going to go down? Is it just a pattern? I guess you shouldn't stay on the same one the entire time, though. Jeez. I'm just going to jump in between logs. Oh! Whoa, hey there. Whoa, mighty mighty fine there. Um lock rolling skills you got there. With the whole log rolling. Logarithms and all. I liked that in the uh, the slides the slideshow how he explained logarithms. <laughs> Ugh. No! No! Icy Canada waters! No! I don't wanna become I don't wanna be swimming with the fishies. Not cool. I don't want to go glug glug glug. No! Oh. You can do it, Bentley. You can do it. Oh yes. Woo. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. Woo. <laughs> John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated. There's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly. But you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Well, I now see why he uh, he wanted me to get the uh, the alarm clock. It'll make it a whole lot easier. Well, let's first equip that. Um, I'll put that in. Where is it? Alarm clock. Right there. I'll put that in the place of smoke bomb. And we're gonna go do this. We're gonna do this Sly Cooper style, cause we're cool. Toss that there. Haha, -ha, fool. Wow, this will make it a lot easier. Okay. Nice. Come on. No, I missed. On there. Good boy. And we'll get in there. Get in there, cave. Get in the cave. No, you saw me? What? What? Okay, I was right in front of him. I can't really I can't really argue my case on that one. Pom, pom, pom. That was really not even on the key. Oh, are they starting the music over again? Well, I guess you'll get to hear it from the beginning then. Wonderful. It's a very good song. I, I very much enjoy it. I find that it represents the uh, the Canada Games very well. It um, it's very very competitive Olympic style of music right there. Very good. Yeah! You got what's coming to you, guard! <laughs> but the disguise is really funny and poor. <laughs> I find it funny. Ah oh, ha ha. Now, are we going to have to get all three of the guard's outfits? I think... Yeah, is Sly going to pose as a guard? I, I'm not sure if I got that part of the memo. Or not. Okay, get on this one. Right here, buddy. No, you stupid duck! Ah. Shoot! No! What the heck? Why'd you do that? That was complete. What? What? He. What? Excuse me. Um, you clearly head all the way back, and then what? You just decide, you know what? I'm gonna go back. I really liked that chunk of ice. Okay, I'll do it all over again, because you know what? I'm pro at this. Shabam. Haha! -ha. You know what? Yeah, Jambasan, I'm better than you because you know what? I cheat with style. 
Eat my cheats. Yeah. Cheating style. Right there. Right there for you. Hope you like cheating. Whole lot of cheat right there. Ooh, yeah, I just cheated it up. Big time. Ooh, check out those cheats. Cheat style. Yeah. Gonna get yourself beat in there. Beat in the cave. Cave of beatings. Cave of cheating beatings. Cheating beaten. That's what you're getting. Cheating beatings. You know what? You know what? I'm cheating so hard right now. I'm gonna eat some Cheetos. I don't even have Cheetos with me. That's how cheater I am. I'm gonna eat some cheater Cheetos. Cheater Cheetos that don't even exist. Cause I'm deep like that. I'm deep like something that's deep, like a chasm or an abyss. Except an abyss sounds dark and scary, which I'm not. Yeah, in the cave of cheating beans. There you go. Yeah, Murray donned those outfits with pride. Wait, he's wearing the beaks. Oh my gosh, did he rip the beaks off the... I don't even want to put that in my mind. Those poor ducks. Oh, that's that's a scary idea. Let's say they're putting fake beaks on. I don't want to use the, uh, the idea of <laughs> he tore the beaks off the ducks. That's just really terrifying. Get in there. Get in the cave of cheating beatings. The cave! Get in the cave. It leads to the land of cheating beatings. You got your beatings in the cave. Yeah, guess what? You're going down. Because you're a loser. Triple zeros. Sorry. What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges I hired. Um, it's the what? It's raccoon and his annoying friends. Annoying? Well, if you want the talent, then why don't you just take them? Oh, ow, jeez. That looked brutal. Ugh. Head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bison must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, candy britches. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissad. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which Welcome to my favorite boss fight in the entire game, Play. probably. I love this fight so much. It's so good. Okay, even though, like, okay. okay. Even though the um, the lumberjack games had a few problems, 
This is by far the most fun ever. It's really awesome. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, and you just get to wail on Pisan. Oh, and this is where Bentley gets his true time to shine. I mean, sure he got to shine back in the Contessa Slayer, but this is his boss fight. He gets to fight a boss by himself. I mean, seriously, by himself, Bentley is doing his own fight. Bentley's got the skills. <laughs> what did he say? Did he sizzle and... What? I don't even want to know. Uh, <laughs> I think he said sizzle and the nizzle, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded funny. Um, but yeah, this is... Bentley gets his true time to shine. Before, it was just as, like, a little portion of a world. Now, it's truly, Bentley's gonna smash you with wooden logs, you're a boss ten times his size, and it's time for us to, like, rock the stage here. It's awesome. You're going down, Rasan. We're gonna get ya. Dynamite? 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 Oh, gosh. I'm not... Okay, he did say sizzle in the nizzle. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> get crushed. Oh, poop. Oh, jeez, I'm scared. This, this guy's brutal. This is a brutal fight, even though it's, like, really fun. Ooh, man, I, I'm getting a little scared. Um, you gotta be really aware of your surroundings. Okay, we got it. Cool. Tarnation. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Besson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Nice. That is probably my favorite boss fight in the game. I don't know if they're, like, the other ones, pretty good. Shake a leg. I mean, the blimp's on its way. I mean, like, Dimitri might be my second favorite. Rajan, my third. Contessa was okay. But, uh, and the Neela fight, Neela fight was pretty unique, but... This one, by far, probably my favorite. It's really good. <laughs> Bentley is just amazing. Let's get in there. Oh, I didn't even need to throw him. Okay. And here comes the blimp. Job completed. 84. We're getting close. My goodness. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. That really is sad. Even though I hate van driving, even though I hated driving that freaking van, it's really sad that we lost in the end. Poor Murray. 
it's really gonna be a loss. Anyway. Looky there, that's Clockwork himself. <laughs> so, in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves, we're going to go into Episode 8, Anatomy for Disaster. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.